Octopus is unique because it has such a variety of different lasers with different characteristics. It's like a Swiss army knife. You, you can always just use the right tool for the science that you're trying to do. We're going to go and see the head first, which is the laser systems. Here's the hub system. Might not look that much. These are the lasers, so I could actually just take off a cover here so you could just see inside, see what a laser looks like. It's got a collection of lenses and, and mirrors, and we use that to create light of a specific colour. So we've got a lot of different lasers in here, probably around 12, and they have different characteristics. So there are different colours, and some of them produce light continuously, while others produce pulses of light. So to turn on the lasers in our octopus head, I need to put my key in here, turn it, and press there. And that is the alarm sounding, and the blue laser is now on. And then we need to transmit those different laser beams to the different arms of the octopus, which are on the other sides of these walls. We do that using optical fibres, and that's what these different colour cables are, which then pass through these gates. This particular cable is transmitting red light. This one is transmitting green light, and then this black cable, this one's got three different colours going through it all at once, because we need them in the arm all together, and that's got uh, blue, green, and red light going through. So they're passing through the wall here, and we'll now go and see the microscopes at the ends of the arm on the other side of the wall. So there are four different labs surrounding the hub, which have got different arms in them. We're going to go into one of them now. In here, we've got two arms of the microscope. It's dark in here because Laura's doing an experiment. This is the other side of the wall from where we just were. And these are the optical fibres coming out of the wall. So there's one going this way to this microscope. You can see the red glow because the red laser is coming through this optical fibre. There's a camera on this microscope over here. And that is looking at a sample of biological cells. And the red laser is exciting fluorescence from those cells. And we're seeing it on the screen here. On the image, you'll see lots of white spots blinking on and off. And they are the fluorescence from individual fluorescent molecules. OK, so it's a bit dark in here. So we'll go into another lab where there's plenty of light and nobody's doing any experiments. OK, so this is another arm of octopus. We're trying to investigate cells at the molecular level. For instance, how drugs work in cancers. And the way we can do that is to attach little fluorescent markers to the molecules we're interested in. And these fluorescent markers, they're quite interesting in themselves. Some of them come from jellyfish, for instance, or corals. We put the sample of cells with these fluorescent dye molecules on our microscope and then we shine the laser on it and that creates fluorescence. This is the sort of picture we get. So this is a whole array of biological cells showing a fluorescent marker lighting up. You wouldn't be able to see these fluorescent markers if you didn't have the laser. So we have different lasers to excite different fluorescent markers which we can then attach to different molecules of interest. And we can even look at two or three at once if we use two or three different laser colours. Why have we got all these different microscopes, these different arms? Because they do different things. So there will be one arm which shows you individual molecules very sensitively at the surface of a cell. There will be another microscope which allows you to look a little bit deeper into the cell. And then there'll be another microscope, which we'll see now, which has got optical tweezers as part of its setup. And optical tweezers allow you to manipulate your sample. You can actually use a focus laser beam to push little bits of the sample around. So this is a typical microscope. You put your sample here, and this metal coloured object here is called the objective lens and that's what does all the magnification that allows you to see really tiny things and the laser beam comes up through the objective lens and then the fluorescence that you produce comes back down through the objective lens and then comes through here 
and this thing splits the fluorescence into three different colours and they're all imaged onto the camera which is here. There is an eyepiece on the microscope which we use just to identify which cell looks alive or looks like a good option for imaging but we don't actually use it to look at the fluorescence because this fluorescence is so weak that you can't see it with your own eyes. You have to use the camera, which is much more sensitive. So images of single molecules are little dots with a sort of background blur behind them, which is remarkably like an image of a galaxy. And so when we need to analyze our images and extract intensities, identify where the spots are, we borrow techniques from astronomy. Science is often thought as individual sciences, physics, chemistry, biology, but when you get to a high level like this, you realize that actually everything is really intertwined and it's really very helpful to have a keen interest in all the different branches of science.